We gotta ask this question. How to create a user registration form that places them in the correct roles? Hi, my name is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. I got the answer for you. When you are creating a membership website or a community website or even like a school university website, you have to register um, a members and you may want to create the different roles. So here, so for example, if you are creating a university website, uh, there are two different roles. One is teacher and the student. Now you need to create the two different forms and one goes to instructor or teacher roles and then the other goes to student roles. With JetForm Builder, so this is really easy to accomplish. And we need a third party plugin. So this is a free plugin. It's called the user role editor. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a new user roles, one for teachers and one for students. And the second item is I'm going to create registration forms, one for teachers and one for students. And the third, I'm going to create a registration pages for teachers and students. So I'm going to embed those two forms onto that page. Okay. And the fourth item is I'm going to create a become a member landing page. And the final item is uh, I'm going to validate the site uh, or those two forms, make sure if they are working. So let's get started. So as I said before, for this tutorials, you need to have user role editor plugin. So this is a third party free plugin. Now go to users and here you will see user role editor. So click that. And then we need to create add new roles. Okay. So let's say, uh, so this is ID. So I'm going to just type a uh, teacher and then display name is going to be teacher and then add role. And I'm going to create another one. Yeah, so I have a student and teacher here. And the next one is, so let's go to Jet, Jet Form Builder and hit the forms. Uh, from the previous tutorials, I have created this user registration. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. So this is a pretty simple form, username and email and a password and confirm password. So JetForm Builder plugin comes with a template. So if you didn't know, so just to go to this plus button here and then uh, patterns and this drop down, you'll see JetForms. And then there are a number of pre-done forms already. And here, so uh, there is the registration register form. So you can use that as a starter. So I'm going to just uh, rename this user registration for teachers. And here the jet form tab, and uh, I got two actions. So one is register user and the other one is redirect to page. So redirect the page because I have account page uh, built with profile builder. So I can just uh, quickly show that to you. So it kind of makes sense that so after user registered, redirect to this account page, right? So that's what I did. So back to this actions. So register user and click this edit action. So these ones, so user login, so that's going to be username and the email is email, password is password and confirm password is confirm password. Okay. And right here, so you see user role and then he has drop down menu. There are the user roles that I created additionally. So member, teacher, student, right? So for this one, it's going to be teacher and then hit update and hit update. Okay, so this should be done. So let's go back to the dashboard. Another step is I have to create a user registration for students. And what I'm going to do is I can just uh, duplicate. 
and then this is right here and I go hit the edit and I'm going to rename to students and then just go to jet form and register user action so change only this user role from teacher to student and hit update and hit update so now I have two forms one for students and one for teachers and I'm gonna create uh, new pages so I'm gonna create one for uh, one for student, one for teacher. So I'm going to create a new page, add a new. And I'm going to use Elementor. So I'm going to just put title. And I'm going to look for uh, Jetaform. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to uh, this. Oops. Just grab this and I'm going to pick a form. So, one for teachers. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add some image here on the background. And teachers, use this. I'm gonna just go ahead and hit publish and go back to uh, dashboard and I'll go to pages again and how oh, I'm gonna just uh, duplicate it but let's go back again here and basically maybe I can save this as a template here save as a template And go back to dashboard. And then go to uh, add a new. The Elementor. And I'm going to just use a template. Uh, my template. And right here, I'm just going to insert. Hi. And here, I'm going to change this. Image, is this. Okay, and then here, so I'm going to change that to yeah, use a registration for students. Okay. Okay, and then go ahead and publish. And now we'll go back to dashboard. And go to pages. And I have already created the, the landing page uh, for, for a member. So become a member. So let's open up with Elementor. So basically, um, the simple, just uh, two images and I have just to link those pages. Okay, let's go to uh, dashboard again. And let's probably just use this. And now I'm going to use separate uh, side by side the pages. And the one for teachers. So I'm going to just uh, open a new tab and the student new tab. So what I need is this link here and then go to the left hand side. So this is uh, just edit banner here. I can add a link. So I'm going to just add a link to that. Uh, yeah. So open new window, probably good. And then student uh, here, copy this URL and right here, I'm going to copy this and open new window. And hit update. 
oh i gotta change this language i said still said teacher so go to elementor okay. and hit save and here so i should change this to uh teacher probably use the same language okay hit update all right so this should be good so let's try this page so go to view page okay so let's just uh, stretch this out actually i should open with uh, private window and then go to this page all right so let's try uh register as a teacher okay so username and email so let's say uh teacher at okay password see okay and a sign up and here so you can add uh details first name last name okay so let's skip this um let's go back to the back end so go to dashboard and to go to the users all user and then so right here so that's the one and then let's take a look at uh, so here we go so now it says teacher Okay, next let's try to sign up as a student. And hit sign up. Uh, let's go to the back end and hit the users. And it's right here. and this role as a student so it works all right so i hope i answered to uh, this question and this is really useful um, most of member website or community-based website uh, you have to create the different roles and as you saw my demonstration it's quite easy to do and i hope this helped and i'll see you next time <laughs>